long. We know we got some pretty outstanding students here on the island. That's for sure. But tonight an East Islip teen has a lot to be proud of. In a year full of challenges, she achieved something only a few hundred people nationwide can brag about. Our Eileen the Palmer is in East Islip, uh, Islip Terrace, where the district is honoring the senior right now. Eileen. Well, Kiara Mosca is a senior here at East Islip High School, and she did a AP research project on perfectionism. Well, not only did she score the top score of five, but she got what's known as a perfect five. Most perfectionists like myself tend to procrastinate things because they want to prolong completing that daunting task. Kiara Mosca is a 17 year old at East Islip High School. She just scored a perfect five on an AP research exam and presentation. The topic, does perfectionism lead to procrastination in high schoolers? College Board sent me an email that said I was one of 1.56% of the world to receive a perfect five. So in a score of a five, there's a bit of a range between the scores. So getting a perfect five means that you've earned every single possible point. Mosca was recognized tonight at the East Islip School District's Board of Ed meeting. The school superintendent saying when you have students and teachers who really care about working together, there is nothing they can accomplish. That's what gives us hope for the future. It's such an honor to receive um, this recognition and it just feels so rewarding, especially to address an issue that is or a topic that is so relevant to adolescents, namely perfectionism and academic procrastination. And in case you're wondering what were the findings of that AP research project, well, Mosca says it turns out there is not a direct correlation between perfectionism and procrastination. Turns out some perfectionists get things done real early and some people just, well, plain procrastinate. Ian and Macy.